welcome to today's tutorial uh, so let's launch our Hododo sketchbook application let's see what we've got so in today's tutorial we want to do a head tilling all right that's what we're doing all right so once you're hooked up sorry for this um, just drag with your two hands you know to save preset and this do, uh, plus sign here yeah, you click on new from image all right then um, you navigate to where you saved your pic see it as just only one layer like i said if you want to work on any picture don't be coming here and click on this import no it's very wrong all right <clears throat> You can do that if you know the size of if, um, what you want to work on but i would just advise you come through you know uh that was that i just showed some names back some names back so duplicate your picture now all right and then you can off one the reason why i duplicate is in case i make a mistake on this i can easily delete it instead of pressing undo undo you understand i can easily delete and then come to this um second one <clears throat> you understand or uh, uh, better still maybe i want to make an effect on this picture i will duplicate it so that um, i will be able to see the real reference so that i'll be able to compare the two together do you understand me now good so on this picture now we want to work on the hair let's see um how we're going to be doing that let me show you a few tools that can be used first um guys you need to know that all this likewise can be used all right all this um can be used but uh, we are not going there today we are using tools under this texture all right this is brush one brush two till we reach uh, scratches all this can do here detailing and likewise all these are um, soft airbrush hard airbrush you know uh, primary pencil uh, pencil and uh, traditional and stuff like that we can as well use them do you understand it all depends on what you want to do for example now all this traditional pen we may use it in areas like this but just let us calm ourselves for now so to do the edges of the head detailing um, we can see that some things are like this do you understand and for us to save time we'll not be using um, this two, you know, to be doing one after the other. Let's just use. Uh, we can as well use this platter. All right, you can use it, and we can as well use this our camo. Uh, just ensure you turn it to black color, and then you can be testing it to see the one that is giving you the kind of edges you want. All right, just let me test this platter also. Let me decrease the size. All right, so just let me go with my camo. Is that okay? My, all right so i will decrease this um, reference a little so that um, what i'm doing can easily reflect do you understand so i will see what i'm drawing easily so that's the purpose of this now do you understand how i'm doing it so you need to be careful and trace the picture itself so what i need this camera for is just for the edges of the hair and nothing more all right but you can choose to use it till we finish and but it's just the edges that I want to use this to, to achieve. But some people don't have the time, they will just do it directly. Do you understand? Some people just they will just you know use just any tool like that and it will be straight and but I love that we should do something if not exactly the way it is in the reference, at least something very close. Do you understand? So that's what you can see me doing. You see, I'm focusing on the edges because easily I can use any tools to do the middle and um all other areas so that's why i'm just using uh, the hedges can you see this all right let me use it for this area likewise good and just let me as well you know this place good so now let me off Okay, we see the edges now. We may still have reasons to trace some places and you know uh, do them better. So just let me use this paintbrush to to fill the colors here. Do you understand? So the purpose of us using camo is just for the edges and nothing more. Just for the edges. That's the purpose why I choose to use. You may have any other reasons why you do use it, but for this picture now, my only reason for now is just because of the edges. Do you understand? Because using this one, well, I'll make an example for you now. Now using this one, do you see it's, it's straight and not having some kind of hair strands around it? Do you understand? So now let's dress the hair help. Let's dress it. Can you see this area? So decrease this also a little so that we can see the areas you want to dress likewise. Uh, 
let's take a camo again so that we use it likewise to to dress the hair so that it can also be having you no know, like hair strands around can you see what i'm doing so you just need to be to be wise at all these things and creative with it some people consider all these ones i'm doing as wasting of time but actually the difference with the dead guys all right so this area now Firstly, let me increase this and then do this area understand so you can choose to sketch you can choose to sketch now let me decrease this again then in this area i will just use my maybe my paintbrush again uh, understand do you understand that so there's no need for any effect there just let me check okay We are not having exactly what is in the reference here and i want us to to have exactly what is in the reference good so now going back to my camo let me use this for this area because i want us to get exactly what is in the reference good Can you see this? This is standard now. You are not done with it yet. Create a new layer. Now, for you to know the layer you are working on, look at the blue border on this layer now. Can you see the blue border? Now, if I come back to this one, the blue border have come to this. If I come to this, the blue border is around it. So, that's how to know the kind of layer you are working on. Do you understand? So, for this now, let's change to, let's use uh, brush 7, brush 6. Let's use brush 7. Remember, on a new layer, And the purpose of creating new layer for this uh, is I may have some things to edit on this while I don't want to edit the, the same thing on the first, you know, hair I did. I want it to be straight, so I will have to clear this. This is one of the advantage of having different layers for all these things. I want it to be straight somehow. I didn't mean that I merge the layers together, I will not be able to delete it the way I did. Do you understand? Good. So now let us dress some areas up also. With my uh razor here, my paintbrush. Well, let me make you understand this ad razor. So let's use it. Is that okay? Let's use ad razor. Because the purpose of paintbrush is not to erase, that's not the purpose. All right, it's just like a car that has pointer. You know, the purpose of a car is not pointer; it's just to drive. But also, without pointer, there will be accidents. Do you understand now? So that's what the paintbrush is serving there. Great. Now, let's look at the reference again. Then let's make use of our soft eraser. You need to remember something that this layer, this particular layer, here is different from this. Can you understand now? Good. So we are working on this particular layer now. You can see the blue border around it. So uh, let me increase the eraser. All right. Let's see. Okay, let's move it backwards a little. All right, I think it's better now. Oh yeah, I think it's better. It's better now. You can merge it together, or as well, you can create a new layer. You can choose to create a new layer, bring it on top of the second layer. Then let's move to our traditional pencil, like I said the other time, and see what I want to do now. Like I said, you can bring one reference up to compare the work do you understand now so okay let me just bring this layer and um, see what i was doing do you understand i bring a layer up Hope you can see how I'm doing my own. I'm not just taking it straight.
you can choose to make your streets no crime in that world this is just the way i choose to do this picture don't worry i will make many ways for you guys so that you understand better all right you can bring it down once again let's make use of our soft razor now you will see the difference between um, these strokes we just draw now and just uh, the picture itself do you understand you, you see the difference now so choose your soft razor as you can see and then use it on it again now check this can you see the difference now can you see the difference between the two good so i think we're done with that particular uh particular layer all right so create a new layer again you create a new layer by clicking on this plus sign here can you see my hand there good so that's what you use in creating a new layer so for us to do the light details the small small details now uh you can change your color by dragging upwards can you see so it's be as white color and if you want to change it to black you drag downwards now for the white details we can choose to use our dotted two or our charcoal and as well if you have your time you can start using your add pencil your all right under traditional and be doing dots dots like this all right you can choose to to increase the size Do you understand? Hey, you can sit down with that and start doing it. And then you can just duplicate just the first things up and use your transform and then drag it up. Can you see it's it's becoming plenty? Alright, so you can just merge the two now and duplicate again. Alright, and use your transform tool again and bring it downwards. Can you see? So you continue to duplicate and duplicate like that. Uh, but to me that's a wasting of time and um, it's not professional for my own feelings. Uh, all right so let's use our dotted tool also and let's see what it can do i love to show you everything and know what it's, it can give you uh but to use it well so that we don't have reasons now this background we can change the color now to use our dotted tool well so that we don't need to be cleaning uh these uh, the dots from the background again on this particular one all right use your selection tool did you understand um sorry let me choose it again use this your selection tool all right you see it has select this one on the layer and then these lines it may not want to select and select this one also that's the major places we need do you understand now um, invert your selection so no matter what it will not pass uh sorry you should not invert rather all right so just select it do you understand then come to the layer you want to put the details and then increase this size a little let's see so anything you are putting on it, it will be within the hair. Let me reduce the, the size of this adopted tool. Let me see. All right, it's not. Now let's use a charcoal also and let's see. Uh, I'm just trying to, comp uh, to compare so that you can make your choice on which tool to use. So you just choose your own favorite. All right. So just let me create a new layer for the dotted tool also, so that we can use uh, the, any one of our choice. And likewise, you can use all this Tony. Now, if you want to use Tony, Tony brush, you don't uh, don't be doing like this. Do you understand? No, it doesn't work like that. You just take it one side. Can you see? But this is mostly used for beards. For me, well, let's let's preserve it also. All right, and let's make use of it. Likewise, create a new layer now for dotted tool also. So I choose to believe that I have covered many things with this tutorial on what the tools can actually achieve for you. Now you can choose to duplicate this. Can you see that? All right, you can choose to duplicate again and merge it. <clears throat> Good. So you can deselect uh, your selection too. So to edit it now, just off all the layers and let's see what the hair uh, reference has to give towards itself. Starting with this, with our dotted two, like I said the other time, this soft razor is very very useful. And now let's let's blend with it. I'm uh, sorry, I'm going too too fast. I should be explaining. Now, if when I want to bend my blend my hole, I'm not doing like this. I'm not doing like this. No no no, it's very wrong. All right, you'll be taking it to one side that you want. Now let me check the reference again. Good. Now, let me re 
decrease uh, the the saturation a little Alright, uh, let me use it here a little. Alright, so here is for you can choose to put it on your soft glue and duplicate it so that it can be a little bit shiny. You understand? Good, so that's that's one part. Good, so we can deselect that and let's see our turning brush likewise. Excuse me. Okay, yeah. Uh, I made a mistake here. It's supposed to be uh, our soft razor. All right, it's our soft soft razor. The reason for that. So just all right. Let me decrease the layer also a little. Do you see it's not actually giving us what we expect? But you can as well use that. No problem. And uh, for our charcoal, let's decrease the layer first. Good. Can you see this? So you can choose to use any of the two. This is number one and number two and number three. You understand, guys? So you can choose to use any of them. It depends on your taste. So guys, thanks for watching. And please, guys, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Your friends that are somehow confused in one area or the other, just tell them to come to this YouTube channel. I'll be dropping up updates on anything that is confusing you guys. So just go to the comment section and comment what you don't understand about Autodesk Sketchbook application. And by God's grace, I will make sure I bring it up and explain to you guys. Thanks you for watching. Once again, if you want to save your work, you click on this share. All right. And then save to device. So guys, let's try forget for you to make the head detailing actually looks like the reference picture itself you see you know there seems to be a lot of differences you can choose to combine both your um, um, uh, what is it called dotted two and your charcoal together can you see that do you see it's now more crowded than it looks before yeah yeah that's to tell you that it works it goes a long long way all right guys so please like i said make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel and um, be expecting another wonderful video again from this youtube channel thanks you good now and then once it's launched just help me to go to your search engine and search for tsam graphics please and please help me to do that search for tsam graphics then click on that search icon all right and let it load up click on my channel name subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you can be alert anytime i drop new videos thank you guys for doing this